Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. I'm learning Swift UI and I'm working on an app and something I needed to figure out how to do was how to go through an onboarding flow and when they get to the end, switch them over to my main app flow. I didn't know how to do that. In this example, I'd like to show you how you can change the state of your app to complete things like onboarding and login and then switch to a completely other set of views. If you'd like to see how to do that in a Swift UI app, come on in and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's fire up Xcode. Let's create a brand new app. Let's call it onboarding. And feel free to save that wherever we like. And let's start by just creating that onboarding flow. So we wanna come in here, start on our onboarding process. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rename content flow here, something closer to what I want. Let's call it uh, onboarding. Onboarding flow view. Okay, so in here, this is where we're gonna to wanna to do some nice onboarding stuff. And I'm just going to drop in a tab view with some stuff just to mimic what we want our onboarding to actually look like. And we're gonna hide this because we're gonna do this later. And if we just run the preview by going Option Command P or hitting Resume up here, let's just see if we can get some kind of view for what our onboarding is gonna look like. And here it is, this is the tab view. We've configured in a tab view style of page and we're gonna always put that in the background mode. And what you can do with this, which is really nice, is this, could, this is a nice way to simulate kind of an onboarding flow. This replaces the UI page view controller from UI Kit. We can swap through some views here. And we get to the very end, we'd like to say done and actually do something and then switch to our main app view. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Well, first let's go define a main app view. Let's come over here, create a new Swift UI file. And this is gonna be like our main, the main flow of our app. Like this is what we really wanna get into after they've gone through the onboarding process. And in here, instead of saying hello world, let's drop in something else. Let's drop in um, just something that shows us we're on the main view, something called main. We'll have a button called reset. And this is, this is basically our main app. This is where we can build our app and do all of our functionality. Now the trick is how do we get from onboarding flow over to main view flow. Where do we do that? Well, really what we have to do is we have to come up here into the main place where our app starts, this main section. This is what kicks off our UI app. And in here, we're gonna to have to do something to either go to our onboarding flow or our main flow view. So we can control which one pops up here if we run the app by just commenting either one of these in or out. So we can either have our main, we can have our flow. And if we just play with these, you know, what we really wanna do is somehow track some state in the app so that we can flip from one to the other. Okay, well, this is where Swift UI data flow really comes in handy. Because what we can do is we can define an observable representing a state object and use that to reset the value, send a signal up to the top and then switch views. Let me show you what I mean. So here we're gonna come in and we're gonna define our observable. This is all part of the Swift UI data flow. So if you're not familiar with that, this is a new set of wrappers and a new way of notifying your app of state changes in Swift UI. So we're gonna create a class here called app state, make it observable. And we're gonna add a property in there called published, uh, a published property called has onboarded. This is the signal we're gonna to use to signal to our app whether or not someone has completed onboarding. Now to use that, we actually have to create an observed object in our app. So if we come down here to our onboarding app, we're gonna add an observed object. That's an instance of this guy. We're gonna say onboarding originally has a value of false. And we now need to pass that in and use that in each of our flows. So basically, if we have our onboarding flow, the way we pass this environment object in 
is like this. We inject it as the environment object. We're gonna pass in our app state. And we can do the same thing down here with main flow. So now each of these views will have access to this when they render. So to make use of that, let's go into each one of these now and just add that as a variable. So for our onboarding flow, we're gonna have our app state there. So it's gonna be available to us there. And for our main view flow, we're also gonna add it as something we have access to here. So we're gonna have access now to our app state in our main flow and our onboarding flow. So all we have to do now is change that state. In other words, once we get through all of our onboarding, we're just gonna to wanna to somehow signal and say, hey, we're done here. And the way we can do that with this button is when someone taps done, we're just gonna change our onboarding state to true. This is what's gonna send the signal back up to our onboarding app that, hey, they've completed onboarding, you can react to that now. And just for demo purposes, we can do something similar to the main flow here. We can reset the flow just if we wanted to go through the onboarding process again, we can set it back into false. So all we have to do now is use that. So if we come back now to our the high level or the, the top level of our app where we're trying to figure out, you know, what are we gonna show? When we kick off our app, all we have to do now is check that state. So we can check if our app state users have onboarded. Well, in that case, we just wanna show our main flow. So come on in, show the main flow, go ahead and move on with the app. Else, if they haven't completed their onboarding flow, well, then we'll just drop that in there. We'll come in here now, and because of this state not being set, we're gonna go into our onboarding flow. So let's just run this now and see what happens. Okay, so our app fires up. People are onboarding into our application, that's fine. They're finished, they're gonna hit done, and look at that. We changed to the main reset. So by going down into onboarding flow, changing that state to be true, that sends a signal back up to our onboarding app because, an observe, because it is an observable object and we're observing it here and we're injecting it here, this will now re-render. So now that this is true, they have onboarded, now we'll create a new view, we'll render our main view, and that's what will appear on the app. So there you have it folks, a very simple way of going through some onboarding and flipping to the main portion of your app. This looks really simple and easy, but it really stumped me for a while. I'm so new to this Swift UI stuff. Simple things like this I'm having to discover uh, as I go. And this is something that I had to figure out for an app I'm working on. So anyways, I hope you found that useful. If you've got other questions about navigation or how to do things in Swift UI, please let me know because if you're gonna run into them, I'm probably gonna run into them too. But if you like this, do hit like, do hit subscribe, come on back and we'll continue exploring the exciting world of iOS and Swift UI. Okay, thanks so much for coming everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.